So Vikings, I'm gonna do a vlog, a uh, design vlog on designing the weekend because of the, there's a lot of stuff coming up uh, while doing this stuff and it's complicated. So if you're not into 3D design and complicated um, mechatronics, then just to find something else to do. Um, I will try to do it uh, clear and concise and let's just go. Um, I'm going to talk about you know, this is what I have now and what you see on the screen might not be, even look like what it's going to end up like. I might even build the whole thing out of extrusions and not like the printed parts I have now but this is what I'm yeah, working with to have some sort of illustration. It's a sketch you can say and um, I have some white carriers which I really really like. I like these carriers with the tension screw and the fork and whatnot. We have similar on, on the weekend but this is just much simpler and it's a low rider. We can use the mini wheels. So I'm trying to go with mini wheels on uh, this printer. So let's see how that works. And we have now 300 uh, extrusions all over. And we have about 200 movement on the Y and uh, about 190 on the X, which is okay for this uh, machine. And of course, yeah, you can build it bigger. Yeah, I know you want it bigger, but whatever. Um, and what I want to talk about now, because now uh, when you have something nice, you think you're very far, you know, uh, you have the carriers and not the X carrier, it's just uh, a dummy. That's not going to look like that, of course, but it's there for uh, simulation purposes and to, to, to do um, yeah, some verifications on uh, where to pull uh, the carrier, the belt path. We're going to talk about the belt path. So we have one A motor and one B motor on a core XY. There are no X and Y. There are A and B because they work together. And we have uh, on one of the motor, let's call this one the A motor. The pulley is placed um, like this. And on the B motor is placed uh, upside down from the other one. And uh, what I've done uh, so far is that I thought I would be smart and utilize the um, fixing for the x-axis as also the idler uh, point where we can run uh, the belt to the um, x-carrier. But yeah, so uh, here. <laughs> There are some interesting uh, things uh, coming up because now I'm going to talk a little about the belt path. It's going to be a little bit complicated. To try to keep uh, with me. This is the pulley, motor pulley, which the belt goes around and comes on the inside of the printer and over to this idler and over to the X carrier and pulls the X carrier like this. So uh, those need to be in line. That meaning is that this idler needs to be aligned to the pulley so the belt can pass and go around and over to the X carrier, which comes here. And then we are the outside loop of the pulley. Uh, are going just through that's gonna just pass it's gonna pass through the Y carrier so it needs to go you know um, either through this or over it or under it or somewhere it needs to pass it and at this point we cannot really pass it uh, this screw is in the way for passing and also if you look at the other side there are no plates because the other side it's going to pass lower than on the a side so the b side this path is not 
on the same level, is it on another floor you can say? This is the lower path and the, the, the A side is the upper path. So either we need to redesign our uh, Y carrier, which we were thought were very smart, um, and ditch the fork as is and try to run above the wheels, or we need to move we need to move the motor either inside uh, further in. Let me look at that. If we move it further in, let's move this motor. Let's say uh, this way, 20, yeah, 20 millimeter, just to make a point. Um, then, of course, we need to move these idlers as well. Let's just pretend these idlers are moved at this point. Uh, now we can we can uh, we can pass the fork. You can see we have. On the outside of the blue uh, carrier, we have room for the belt to pass here. So that's nice. We didn't even need to go that far. We can go, uh, let's say, 10 back. Let's look how that's uh, going to turn out. And uh, we are still good at this side, but probably not on the other side, because we need to pass on the other side on the lower lower uh, point here so um, if we were going to move the motors inwards let's do just uh, 15 like this then we have place for both both belt passes on both sides but then of course this idler does not line up anymore with this pulley this means that this idler, let me move this idler as well. Um, let me find this idler in my assembly. So that's this one. We probably were going to need to move that over here. Even more, of course, we need, I only moved it 10, then we need to move that 15 as well. Something like that. Which means also uh yeah and um, this means again so you know now things are getting complicated because now we are crushing with the x carrier so the same thing will happen on the other side so now we have space issues and we want to keep as big space as possible so then uh, we need to ask if we are going to move the motors outside of the um, of the the Y carriers. So it could be it could be uh, then you have to be even further out. Let me move it more. It probably be something like this. Um, then we have to look at the other side. Sorry, this is going a little bit slow, but bear with me because this is important stuff. 25. It'll be something like this, and we still does not pass. Yeah, we actually do because we only need to pass on the outside. So we could have the motors like this. But then, okay, so what to do with the idlers then? Then we had to move the idlers. Yeah. Something. The idlers had to be something like this. And then again, yeah, it's a, it totally conflicts with our fork on the Y carrier. And uh, so yeah, I thought I had uh, something smart going on, and it turns out it makes a lot of issues for me. So at this point, I'm thinking about um, moving. What we could do, actually, what we could do. That's a smart, maybe a smart thing I just realized. 
uh, we could move these guys actually on the inner side of the Y carrier. It could be over here. Actually, that is actually something I need to look at. Because we, this screw does not have to be there. Actually, it's a little bit in the way where it is. It would be nicer to have to redesign this carrier with some space here where we could fit our idler. But now it's on top of the wheels again. So it gets complicated. And this is the way it is, you know, at this point when you start adding stuff together, we have smart things that look very smart um, on uh, in on each design like the Y carrier which looks like this so it looks very nice when you um, when you place it in the assembly like this and start to, to plan the belt path and so on then it doesn't add up so that's where I'm at at the moment if you have any smart ideas on how to solve this stuff let me know if you see something on the interwebs or have some other printer doing something smart let me know and i'm going with wheels so let's keep red keep the, keep the high winds out of this or the MG, mgms that's not going into this design i'm gonna go with the wheels and the wheels we slot so I know that, well, why don't you just place, you know, uh, whatever. This is what we're working with. So let help me with this and not everything else <laughs> as you tend to do. And then we need some idlers out here at this corner. So that's also a challenge which are coming after we placed. That ha also has, has to... Um, depend also these idlers on the corner which are not there at the moment I, let me place one there let me pay, place this one there um, place this one let's just place this guy over here it's not so important where it is at the moment we are going to just keep it in the right height that's important like this and we can have it actually this one can be out here or somewhere that's not uh, the other one needs to be more in the correct path but uh, yeah I'm gonna talk about that later this is getting too complicated now I can feel and too long so we are going to leave it like that for now and so as you understand, I need to redesign a lot. I need to do a lot of work, a lot of thinking, and a lot of planning, and uh, get it together. And if this machine is going to be a working machine in two weeks, well, <laughs> and you think I can manage that? Yes or no? Let me know. <laughs> I don't think so, but challenge me. And um, thank you for watching and let me know if it's too complicated, if it's too uh, yeah, boring or yeah, if you'd like to, me to use time on other stuff, let me know um, in the comments, guys. So thanks for watching and happy printing.